So this demo I want to show today, um, in full disclosure, I was watching my colleague, uh, Dr. Andrew Ying, do something similar with his class. Um, and I want to sort of take it a little bit more. Um, and it's based on one of Galileo's famous experiments in uh, which he rolled things down a ramp to show that uh, when something started at a certain height, it would roll back to the same height, uh, regardless of what the angle of the incline is. Okay? So, for example, if we start this off at this location right here, a marked piece of tape, and then at the other end there's another piece of tape that's marked at the exact same height. So if I release it, you can see that it rolls right to that height. And coming back, now it doesn't quite return to the original height on the way back. And as you notice, there was kind of a click as it moved past the center point, sort of a loss of energy there. Um, but if we were to change the height of one side of the ramp, Okay, so now what I've done here is I've raised the far ramp to a higher angle. Okay, we're going to start from the same location on this side of the ramp. Now to compensate for the higher angle, I had to move the piece of tape down so that they still remain roughly at the same height above the table. So let's see what happens now. As you can see, despite having a steeper angle on the other side, it still reaches to basically the same height. So Galileo was correct. It doesn't matter what the angle the ramps were. As long as something begins at one height, it will go and roll back to the same height, or return to the same height. Now, this had some other implications that later led on to not only what Galileo understood, uh, but what Newton understood. Again, if we let it go, you can see it rolls back and forth. But each time, it kind of rolls less and less. Now, of course, that has to do with a lot of other forces and things like that. But for a long time, people just assumed that the natural state of all objects is that objects should be at rest. Because whenever you do anything, the eventual state this ball is going to return to, as it slows after each roll, is to a state of rest. And so for a long time, people believed that that was the natural state of objects, that all objects just naturally want to be, or tend to be, at rest. Okay. But Galileo did something interesting to prove that to be not quite the case. What Galileo instead looked at it said, well, what if one half of the ramp is angled and the other is flat. If I let the ball go, it keeps on going and going and going. And Galileo imagined, well, what if the ramp extend, extended further and further and further? It would still continue to keep on going. And that's where his all, whole idea behind inertia came along. That it wasn't just the natural tendency of a body to stay at rest but also there could be a natural tendency for a body to remain in motion. And that's where Newton then developed that into his first law of motion, the law of inertia. And that was a big change over the belief that all objects naturally wanted to be at rest. Turns out there can be two states of inertia, a tendency to remain at rest and a tendency to remain in motion. That's basically what that showed.